Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your imminent breakthrough gameplay. This is an arcade-style defense mode, or arcade rules, I guess you could say. Defense mode that just came out and features the Storm Tiga. And if you complete three of these, if you win three of these, you get this fancy camouflage on the front of the Storm Tiga. That said, this is the Goliath track mine. A lot of people have been wanting to see that, so why not feature that? right here in the beginning of the gameplay now a lot of people might think that this is a uh, storm tiga base video or a uh, type of game mode it's not uh, unfortunately so while this is going to be your main base of operations so you can use this of course and i'm going to try to use this here those are enemies are like what eight eight two or eight eight point something so let's just launch these right around here. Let's see if I can get myself a kill. Probably not. The getting closer to victory. Ooh, very nice. Now you have a 40 second reload, 42 second reload. So you need to use these AT cannons. And these AT cannons are set up on the right and or left and right flank, as you can see right there. Uh, and this is going to be how you win. Uh, AT cannons, flak as well. You can jump into flak. You're not going to win just sitting on your Storm Tiga. Unfortunately, again, this is not... Ooh, that was ugly. This is not a Storm Tiga, and uh, yes, believe it or not, that's how it's pronounced. This is not a Storm Tiga uh, type of gameplay. You have to switch into the AT cannons. I played this three times, and we've gotten close to winning once, but have yet to win, unfortunately. So, switch back to this, because I have my... So, 60... I'll just fire this right around here. Let's hope that does something. Switch back into this. Of course, my kill did not go through. And in order to win, you pretty much have to defeat enough enemies. As simple as that. It doesn't say, as far as I know, how many enemies you have to defeat. But you have to make sure that your tickets go down slower than the enemy tickets. Which is not going to be easy. So we have an M18 here. This is not going to be the most exciting use of the Goliath. Because I'm not going to get to use it. So I guess switch right back into this. But pretty much the way to use the Goliath is to just sit there, unfortunately. But let's switch over to the right flank. Okay, you're in an emplacement, by the way. So how far are those guys out? About however far. Let's see if that gets a hit. It does, doesn't go through because M10s have a lot of armor, believe it or not. Not really. So let's just fire that before we switch over to another one. So you actually switch between uh, dugouts pretty much in this, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there's, there's more, more or less a line of them. And also, enemy aircraft will start to bomb you and, and use rockets against you if you're not careful. So let's go and use this here. I doubt I'm going to get any kill, but who knows, right? Fire it off into the, into the nether. Let's see if we can get something. Got a kill. Very nice. So now I've got three kills and two assists. Again, this is not going to be a very um, Storm Tiga friendly gameplay or, or uh, game mode, rather. So, let's actually focus on getting some more kills here. And unfortunately, what's also going to happen, you'll notice this a little bit more, is that these are... You'll get a lot of ghost shells with this. Uh, that, Of course, my first two shells right there were not ghost shells. But um, you will shoot, and it looks like, you know, right on the side of these vehicles and it won't go through, or something will happen where it just doesn't get you the kill, or I'm not really sure. You know, it can happen quite a bit, and unfortunately, it's pretty common. So we have an M5A1 over here. Let's just fire on him, and then switch back over to Storm Tiga. But this game mode will demand a lot, and I mean a lot, of just moving back and forth, back and forth, uh, between pretty much everything. So let's just fire on that. Hope I can get a hit. Probably not. Got a hit. Nice against the uh, Jumbo Sherman. So I'm not doing too poorly. Uh, I've had matches where I've done a little bit better, but not too terribly. I'm number three, but not or number four on the team, but not by too small of a margin. Got to use this, ride this in battle. Just put it on cruise control. That's what I do, and uh, that's kind of how it's set up. So the thing in the middle is the engine. The thing up front, I believe, is the fuel tank. So it's not really all too impressive. Only around an 11 kilometer per hour top speed. Um, and you pretty much just have to move this over into... Uh, okay, they're trying to fire at me. You have to move this more or less just 
again, cruise control. A lot of the time, you're going to want to just kind of leave it on cruise control and then switch back to your actual uh, war horse, so to speak. So I'm going to try to hit this guy. Point three. I'm not even sure if there's somebody in front of him. Okay, perfect. So we have that now. Now I'm going to want to switch over to the left flank. And again, this game mode will demand a lot, a lot from players because unfortunately... Uh, it's just, again, just a lot of switching back and forth between various guns, various, um, you know, AT guns, your Goliath Track Mine on occasion. And unfortunately, you're not really going to be able to get too much use out of the Goliath Track Mine. So let's just fire on that M4A2 over there. Didn't really get anything. Fire one more on them before I switch over to something else. Just to show you guys. Yeah, it didn't even go through. Ooh, whoops. Got my Goliath track mine here. I kind of want to go towards them, but I don't really know if that's going to be a great idea. So let's switch over to the anti-aircraft guns. Let's show you this gameplay. Whoa, okay. And it's got really bad traverse, as you can see. But I mean, it's not unsatisfying. It's your pretty. It's your pretty typical gameplay. It's just. I guess okay <laughs> you know there's not really too much to this game mode it's just defend against a lot of enemies and there are a lot of enemies again this is my i think fourth match i've played with this and not a single time have we won we've gotten close but we've not won and it's unfortunate because i mean it's otherwise pretty fun so let's go switch into the uh fw 190 here see if i can actually get that kill or uh get something with that you can have a few different bomb loadouts here, so you can have the eight 50 kilogram bombs like you see there, or you can have four on the wings and then one, I believe, 250 or 500 kilogram bomb underneath. We have a bunch of M4A3s here, probably just going to fire near the back because the ones up front are always going to be targeted most. No kills, of course. So, and you are also going to be targeted very, very heavily by enemy planes. So just drop some of those bombs there. doesn't really matter. And it is what it is. <laughs> if if your pack uh, cannons, if your allies in the pack guns, the anti-aircraft guns, are not really doing their job so much, you're not going to have a good time uh, with pretty much anything. So I got myself some nice hits there. And yes, this is a repairable vehicle. So if you have the track shot out, you're dead. doesn't really matter, unfortunately. And also, you can technically access the vehicle control menu from the Goliath track mine but you're not going to be able to actually access them so you do have to switch right back over to the oh, way overshot there you do have to switch back over to the storm tiga in order to do this so let's see number four on the team not too bad for uh, more or less a tutorial video where i'm just kind of going through everything and trying to show you guys exactly how this gameplay works, but I do have a bunch of assists more than anyone else. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to happen sometimes. So, M4. Okay, that's more or less where I'm sighted in anyway, so let's fire. And get back into the Goliath Track Mine. Again, you can launch right next to these guys, but it doesn't seem like it matters all too much, unfortunately. But the Goliath Track Mine can kill a bunch of people um in fact actually i'll probably just splice in a clip from an earlier match where i had gotten i think a quadruple kill with it against a bunch of light tanks but i'll try to show you that now oh we have an m5a1 right here let's see if we can blow this bad mamma jamma sky high Yeehaw! oh wait i had to hold the space button Oh, got a quadruple kill. Ow, but, uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise, this is just a... It's not a bad game mode. It's just not what a lot of people probably expected, unfortunately. And I use the word, unfortunately, uh, pretty seriously. Uh, so let's go over to the right flank. We have, obviously, a bunch of enemies here. And you will always have to watch out on... Uh, <laughs> what? You... <laughs> Okay, you do have to watch out on the minimap uh, for enemies, of course, because if you don't, ooh, let's see if we can fire right into the middle of them. That's around, more or less, actually, right where I'm aiming now. 
Kind of get right back into this. Let's see if I can get a kill. Got double kill. Not too shabby dabby. Not doing too terribly. Not doing well, of course, but I'll take it. Kind of go back over here. Let's see if I can get myself a, a kill with a Goliath because this is, in my opinion, the Goliath is probably, along with the Storm Tiga, going to be the least effective way to get kills. If you can set this up where you can get a kill, um, you know, where you can kind of ambush enemies, then it's usable. But aside from that, it's not. Ooh, we have a bunch of M18s over here. Let's go launch these right into the middle of them. Now, at this point, late game, you probably want to switch over to the packs, as you can see my allies are more or less doing. You have some people who just more or less use those, which if you're good with them, the uh, the anti-aircraft cannons, do it, you know? Like, that is a, that's an absolutely crucial part of this. I'm not amazing with those, of course, and I can't do anything. So I'm just going to blow this up here and not get a kill. Ooh, that was bad. That was really bad. I got a little flustered, but I still got the kill. Very nice. So we're going to want to focus on the right flank here. You have a bunch of enemies way down there. See if I can get that. Nope. Got close, though. We have a little closer enemies here. So let's see. And this is where that aiming reticle really helps because the gun sights are minimal. Uh, you really can't zoom in here, unfortunately. Kind of aimed up a little bit much, but we're not going to win this. Uh, there's no way in hell we're going to win this, unfortunately. Some matches you do better, some matches you do worse. This is one of the matches where I've done a bit worse. But it is what it is. You take it in stride, you continue, you get better. The first match I ever had was was very much the worst match I've ever had with this. And um, it's just going to happen, unfortunately. So I might just switch over to anything else. Let's go to the, the left flank, or right flank, rather. And these are some M4A2s. Let's fire these right in front. And again, Storm Tiga, it's going to be fun. You can use it, but it's not really something that is seemingly all too useful. Unless you're firing between shots of everything else. And you're decent enough with getting the rangefinder set with that. That looked like a ghost shell. But who am I, right? Um, so we have those out there. Doesn't matter. We lost. So that's pretty much the imminent breakthrough gameplay. It's, uh, I don't know if it's a lot of fun, but, um, you know, I think as people get better at it, they get more used to it. Um, you know, you're going to see it a lot more, but a lot of it seems to be by chance. I mean, I've had matches where I've had over a thousand score and I've had matches where, as you saw there, I had like, what, 670, 700 ish score, give or take by the end. So it wasn't all too impressive. And I think a lot of it has to do with just chance. You know, you have so many people firing on the same targets where you have some people firing on one target, let's say twice or something, and you're not going to get a kill because they killed it just before you. And now you have a five second reload, 10 second reload, 40 second reload, uh, as you see with the Storm Tiga. So it's just, it's a very interesting thing. I wonder if they're going to reduce the difficulty. I mean, even if they reduced it by 5%, you need like five, you have to kill 5% fewer vehicles. I feel like that would increase the win rate by a huge amount but it is what it is so that said thank you so much for watching please of course like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below but either way i am signing out take care everyone